plenty of uh, fishing tools around these days, but these uh, tools are one of the most handy ones you can ever get. These are called uh, bogger grips or lip grippers. Uh, there's plenty of uh, copies of these around. Most tackle companies make them. These ones are the original and the best. These are my personal ones. I've had them for years and they function flawlessly. The idea behind these things is that they, uh, they have a little spring mechanism in here, stainless steel spring mechanism. You pull down this plate, opens up these jaws, and you uh, put the jaws into the fish's mouth, let them go, and then the jaws will not release no matter how much pressure you put on them. So they're great for uh, handling fish, especially fish that have got spikes or have got teeth. Um, they don't cause the fish any damage because these are, are rounded jaws here, so when it goes into their mouth it doesn't actually make a hole or anything like that. And it just means that you can handle the fish uh, without any uh, danger to yourself from uh, hooks and things like that, and also make the fish uh, as comfortable as it can be without um, having to you know, grab it by the gills and so on and so forth. They're really handy tools. A lot of professional fishing guides use these ones, especially up in the Territory. Uh, there's three sizes in these bogger grips. This is the middle ranking size, the 30 pound grip. You've got a 15 pound one and there's a 60 pound one. The other interesting thing about these is they've actually got a set of scales in them. So if you want to weigh your fish, they're really accurate scales. And these are actually IGFA uh, compatible. So if you want to get a record fish, you can weigh it on these and see how you go. There's a couple of things with uh, using these to maximize fish uh, health that I think it's important you guys know. So we've just got a little Bonnie here. I'll just lip grip him and then I'll show you what I mean. You can see there that the, uh, the lip grips are on the fish. Now if you wanted to keep this fish in the water, just wanted to let, get the hooks out, you can actually keep that fish in there safely. You're not going to damage him by bringing him on board. This is especially important with fish like Murray Cod that you don't really necessarily want to take out of the water. With this Bonito, I'm going to take him home for dinner, so that's fine. So you've got your fish lip gripped. That lip grip will not come undone no matter how much pressure you put on there. So it's a simple matter of just simply pulling him out of the water, now it's important if you've got a fish that you're going to catch and release that you actually su support the fish's body with your hand. Uh, like I said before, I'm going to take this bonito home and eat him, so I'm just going to show you what you shouldn't do with lip grips. If you do that with a fish that you want to let go, you're putting a lot of pressure on his, his neck here uh, because his body weight's ha basically hanging by his jaw. So if you want to catch a fish uh, like a barra, say, or a, or a murray cod or a bass, a fish that you're going to let go, you don't do that. Don't hold them like that always support their, their weight with your hand. If it's a big fish, you might have to use um, your body as well. So what, what this does is it means that you can, uh, you can safely control the fish. So if he was thrashing around, those trebles were going everywhere, I can hold him out here, I'm not in any danger. Uh, the fish isn't whacking himself around on the boat deck or anything like that. Um, and he's, he's nicely, uh, nicely contained. These, these grips actually spin as well. So if the fish is jerking around and spinning, it can spin freely and it's not going to, uh, not going to uh, hurt itself or, or tangle line up or anything like that. These are also great for catch and release. So you've, you've got your fish, you've taken a couple of picks, you want to let him go. Put him back in the water. You can swim him with your uh, bogger grips, getting water through his gills, oxygen into him. And then when he's ready to go, all you've got to do is just pull back on that, this plate here and uh, he'll swim off nice and happy. They're a great tool, um, but if you, you're going to get one, make sure you get a good quality one. These are a premium product. They're a stain, whole stainless steel construction, very well made. Obviously not a cheap product, so you don't want to lose your bogger grips when you make an investment in one. So always make sure you put the leash on your, on your wrist like this when you're retrieving a fish, just in case uh, you slip and it falls out of your hand, it's going to be hanging here, it's not going to fall into the watery depths. Uh, I'll just put this guy in the live bait tank, and I'll show you a neat little tool that you can use. This is my uh, 15 pound bogger grip. I use this a lot for flathead, brim, bass, that sort of stuff. And it's got a really neat little bogger float here, which uh, means that if you do, by mistake, uh, drop it in the water, it'll float and save you uh, losing it. So I'll just demonstrate how it works. Oh, I've dropped my bogger grip in the water, but I've got a float, so she's safe. Now, uh, if I didn't have that float and I accidentally dropped my bogger grip in the water, I'm fishing on a hundred foot of water here, that bogger's gone. And, uh, you know, I'd be very, very upset. These are a great little insurance uh, if you're into, into catch and release fishing. Um, definitely worth investing in one of these floats. Uh, they do make a difference, especially if you're a clumsy uh, person like I am and accidentally drop your bogger grip in the water. So boggers, uh, fantastic tool, really well made. The engineering in these things is fantastic. 
Um, they obviously are resistant to corrosion because they're uh, high quality stainless steel uh, construction. I always make sure I wash mine in fresh water after I use them and I also give the internals here just a little spray with inox uh, just to make sure they're in tip top condition. I've had this for years, I, I leave it on my boat and as you can see it's in perfect condition, um, uh, exposed to the salt all the time, a little bit of preventative maintenance, I mean this will, this will last me a lifetime. They're a great tool, uh, fantastic for catch and release fishing. Uh, will make your life a lot easier. Check them out.